Good afternoon. Welcome to the webinar dedicated to evaluation of environmental monitoring data. During the webinar, I will present solutions developed by Stats of Poland for pharma industry. Then I will discuss basic methodology, procedures and examples related to environmental monitoring. And finally, I will show you the database system that can be used for collection and evaluation on of environmental monitoring data. In the Q&A session, you can enter your question in the question section. Statsov for pharma industry. Statsov has over 25 years of experience in advanced and predictive analytics in highly regulated pharma industry. In 2019, Stats of Poland from Kraków and Stats of Europe from Hamburg joined each other to provide the customer with a more comprehensive offer related to advanced analysis and importing, common potential of teams in Kraków and Hamburg, extensive experience in implementing advanced deep cost solutions, and predictive modeling and machine learning applications. Our offer. We develop and implement systems for collecting, storing, sharing, and analyzing data. We support you in all steps of your analytical projects related to data science. We provide and adapt statistics to your needs and set up a business solution for you. We offer a wide range of training courses on statistical software and data science. When it comes to pharma industry, Stats of Poland developed add-ons embedded in statistical software to facilitate statistical data analysis and reporting in various GXP area. We include product quality monitoring used to evaluate the technological process during product quality review or ongoing process verification, process validation to evaluate validation batches and trade equivalency during process validation, Environmental monitoring used for evaluation of physical, chemical, and microbiological data collected for clean rooms and installations. This solution provides comparison using various model dependent and model independent methods. Proficiency testing to assess laboratory performance based on inter laboratory study. Measurement uncertainty calculated using theoretical model as well as validation study results. Analytical method validation used to, uh, to evaluate statistical uh, characteristics of um, parameters recommended by ICH. And product stability evaluation used to establish product shelf life based on long term and short term studies with identification of adverse trends. Some analytical, analytical add-ons are being extended with a dedicated database to collect and store data with identification of atypical trends in real time. In addition to add-ons, Statsoft developed and implemented advanced database systems related to product quality stability studies and environmental monitoring. The systems allow collecting data from various sources or manually, storing them in a common analytical database and sharing information by sending notification after identification of adverse events with real-time process visualization and reports generation. In 2020, with the support of the European Union funds, Stats of Poland developed a system that integrates all stages of the product life cycle, starting with research and development through validation of the process and continued ongoing process verification during routine production. The system is dedicated both for research and development departments, which are interested in implementing the QBD approach for quality assurance, qualified person, that want to monitor the process in real time with detection of adverse trends, as well as for the, the technological departments dealing with improving the effectiveness of the manufacturing processes. 
environmental monitoring procedures, methods, and examples. According to GMP requirements, some kinds of data, including environment co controls, should be recorded in a manner permitting trend evaluation. According to the draft version of Annex 1, the site's environmental and process monitoring program forms part of the overall contamination control strategy and is used to monitor the controls designed to minimize the risk of microbial and particulate contamination. Environmental monitoring can be divided into four basic stages. Preparation of the plan, execution of the plan, evaluation of monitoring results, generation of the report. Step one, monitoring plan. According to Annex 1, a comprehensive environmental monitoring program should be established based on risk assessment that is used to define monitoring parameters, sampling location, sampling frequency, and sampling methods. To develop a monitoring plan, we must therefore perform a contamination risk assessment. So, we start by dividing the room to be monitored into grids having size small enough to differentiate process steps, while large enough to be practical. For instance, four square meters or half square meters in class, class A. And the process activities occurring in each grid should be described in detail. Individual, individual grids can be grouped into functional sections that cover distinct operational processes, such as infeed, filling, or closing. In the next step, we determine the contamination risk factors, such as distance from the open product or complexity and frequency of interventions. For each factor, the number of levels is defined with the data description and the method of risk estimation is selected, which can be additive by summing the risk factors or multiplicative by multiplying the factors or a method of risk sorting and filtering. Then a scoring system should be defined to differentiate between high, moderate and low risk of contamination. Having defined risk factors and how to analyze them, we can evaluate each grid using contamination risk factors and assign a risk level to each grid. And the parameters to be monitored, sampling locations, sampling methods, and the frequency are defined for a grid according to the risk level. Sections with a high risk of contamination should be subject to routine monitoring. Section with a moderate risk of contamination may be subject to routine monitoring depending on the results of the qualification study. Section with a low risk of contamination are usually excluded from routine monitoring, although some grids may be added as a reference points. For trending purposes, points can be grouped. Grouping, grouping scheme should be pre-established. It should be noted that the way the points are grouped is important to have a reliable picture of the state of the manufacturing environment. For example, microbiological levels can vary from one room to another, even having the same cleanliness grade, depending on the technical solutions used, contamination control procedures implemented, or process conditions. Also, the impact of potential limit breaches on product quality depends on the criticality of the technological operation conducted in a given room. 